Hydra has been running some kind of field tests in the area, and that device is the key. They would rather destroy it than let us get our hands on it, so it must be important. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. for the rest of us. Target confirmed. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Time to rethink your life. some unwanted attention from the Fallen. Just what we needed. Maybe we should open with some ranged attacks first. You had your chance to escape. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for the minions. That time was clear. Die! Then we eat! 
Watch my back. That's the stuff. Five minutes back at Camp Leaf. Get a face. I think they got me. If someone fed the creature, it would stop complaining so much. some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work.
What's up, Big H? Why, hello, Hunter. Your unwavering optimism inspires me. This will feed my ego for weeks. Don't ask to see what's under the mask. I'll blind you with my good looks. Hi, hi, Hunter. Hunter. What's up? You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. When we avenge the fallen, we honor their loss. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it THE Hunter? You're an only child, aren't you? Yes. I guess you'd have to be. Caretaker used to tell us about Lilith's child, not Lilith's firstborn. Can you imagine Hunter triplets? That would have ended poorly. Caretaker always said she could barely handle one of you. I could be, let us say, headstrong. <laughs> I can't imagine. It always strikes me how our families define so much about us. I wouldn't be who I am without my little brother. With my parents gone, I had to grow up fast. Pay the bills, keep my grades up, and provide for Gabe. No matter what. Having a spirit of vengeance inside you cannot have made it any easier. Yeah, um... It has complicated my life. But I make sure it won't complicate his. It's not easy to find that balance. But you have to do it. Without family, you lose a part of yourself. <laughs> I could do that again. Sure, Captain Marvel can blast at you with her eyes, but I can bat my eyelashes and make them run away. You're tired of listening to Doctor Strange's stories. The ones where multi-tentacled old ones feasted on cavemen? Nah. Actually, that sounds up my alley. I just needed some fresh air. Plus, Robbie likes to crank the volume on his video games, and I don't like loud noises. Right. Your, uh, costume is sensitive to powerful sonics. You know, it's funny. 
My other has protected me from so many things over the years. Sometimes pushes away more than just bullets. Maybe it is the teeth? <laughs> of course it's the teeth. Uh, but they're useful. I've chewed my way out of a number of sticky situations. They must be a pain to brush. Eh, I have acidic saliva, which instantly kills most bacteria. <laughs> Gingivitis doesn't stand a chance. So your other's appearance is functional, but is it necessary? Maybe not. I'm not the only person who bonded with my symbiote. The suit often changes appearance with each new host. Care if I run around the Abbey wearing the symbiote for a bit? I do. The relationship I have with my other is very intimate. Feels like a betrayal whenever it takes on a new host. Like wearing someone else's underwear? Maybe a bit. If your underwear had tendrils and constantly wanted you to feed it. You and your symbiote have an interesting relationship. It's simultaneously the strangest relationship I've ever had. As well as the most comforting. Thanks for talking about it, Hunter. I don't think everyone inside would take the time to understand how I tick. It's not much, but I have managed to locate a few details. How's it going, boss? No problem. How does this look? Here if you need me. See you around. Tell me you found something good. Great intel. Bad news for the world. Let's fix it. Here's the late. Stay out of trouble. Take it to the next level. We have a new edge. We thought you wanted a new and improved. Ready to work? Later. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. See you soon.
The mystic arts require concentration and... I'm happy to help, Hunter. The Abbey is full of mystery. It keeps its secrets close, even from the Sorcerer Supreme. It is a pale shadow of my Sanctum Santorum, of course, but it has a rustic charm to it. Did you not consider the Abbey's simplicity as an illusion? What are you on about? I can see behind the veil, Hunter. When I gaze upon the Abbey, it reveals nothing but... Oh. Oh, I see. A hidden complexity in its geographical non-description, an unremarkability in triplicate. Rather, octuplicate. An eightfold veil for the five earthly senses and the three not of this earth. My compliments to caretaker and the late Miss Harkness. There is a simple elegance here that I quite appreciate. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Like your mouth, even with the reputation it has. <laughs> Look, I'm all for the Askis. Look it up first. What if we just held hands, huh? Oh, of course. I was worried you might forget to open. Hunter, got a big problem, not sure how to fix it. Slow down, Peter. Tell me what happened. Okay, Eddie left me a note. Real ominous stuff. Said he knows where to find the ultimate answer. Look, I've seen Venom in dark places before, but this? I'm worried he and the symbiote have hit a breaking point. I will help you find them. That's just it. I looked everywhere. Unless he crawled into the forge, he's not in the Abbey. He's not in the Abbey. Exactly my point! He asked me to open a portal. So I did. Where did you send him? A church. Where Venom and I fought in the bell tower? Yes? Hunter, that's where Venom was born. We have to go, right now! All right, Peter. I will follow your lead. Ilion, open could you- Open a portal. Ah, fine. But no more piecemeal trips. You must all return together. That's the hope. Going to the church where Venom was born? Yeah. It's where I said the suit when I learned of it. If the suit is dangerous, what makes it safe for Eddie? Eddie and the symbiote are like broken pottery. They both have sharp edges. If it's not 
quickly together to create a better whole. Peter, that is beautiful. That's how Betty sees it that way. If he loses control again, Venom might turn my face into something not so pretty. Do not say that around Spider-Man. Just set him up for one of his patented singers. Now you know how worried I am. Come on, let's go. What's going on, Ed? Got to thinking. Mephisto said I would find what I seek where it all began. Gotta be here, right? I guess this church is the place where I lose things, and you find them. Any luck? Whole lot of nothing. What's eating at you? I caused a mountain to hurt. In the name of some... freaky demon lady? Lilith. She controlled you, Eddie. She didn't do all this. I did. Look around. I'm never gonna clean this mess up. Never gonna make any of this right. You don't know that. Oh. You know me. I screw everything up. Maybe I deserve this curse. My Aunt May says the easiest way to let the darkness win is to do nothing. Yeah, well, I don't have an Aunt May. All I get is this. Whole lot of... Watching someone else get to be the good guy. Must be nice. You okay, Parker? I gotta say, something's setting my spidey sense off. Kinda jacked up to maximum overdrive here. It's all about boundaries, Parker. You gotta put that thing on mute sometimes. Maybe someday, but this is different. It feels like... Vampires. You got my back? I got yours. Brothers in vamp slime. Let's do this. You were on to something after all, Venom. See, you both had the right instincts. We are bound to this place. I never realized you're that sentimental. Enough shallow attempts at bonding. We have work to do. I can't believe my ears. Now he's the responsible one. All right, all right, I'm focusing. Proper concussion protocols. Your face is. You were too weak for this fight. Your mother abandoned.
Vampires here of all places. Mephisto toys with us. That's the life of a superhero. Acrobat once as a child, but he was not nearly on your level. are older than the church. Look, Hemalisks. We are looking. The Alm could be eating. This could be the source of the whole vampire infestation. Uh-oh, that's not a small entrance. Infestation! Infestation! Prince of Darkness? Wait, you mean... The Father of Death. So to be clear... The Impaler. Humanity itself is the infestation. You insect. Okay, first, arachnids aren't insects. Don't feel bad. It's a common misconception. Second, Love the costume. Seriously, I dressed like you last Halloween. That is no costume. Crap. For a city teeming with heroes, I expected you much sooner. I can't believe we're talking to Dracula! You didn't find me on your own. Who may I thank for this unwelcome intrusion? Mephisto! <laughs> ah, he is a special sort of coward. Never meeting his adversaries face to face. Why muddy his own hands when he can soil yours instead, hmm? Hey, Mephisto or not, we can't let you turn New York into Transylvania. Then to the devil's implements I say, do your worst. Here we go again! 
Nothing personal, but I think you're out of your league here. myself every day. Mephisto hold over your heads. He will free us. 
us from your bloodthirst. And don't forget about Lilith's corruption. The mother of demons has her claws in you as well. <laughs> now I understand your desperation. Then you know what we must do. You got off easy this time. Glad you've got my back. The light is on our side. Do I want to know what was in there? You! You should have tried harder. Toying with us. We hate it. It must be so frustrating. But don't give up hope. You've gone to all this trouble. that social cue my children you think this stops my plans today your only gain is an immortal enemy much better now could someone give us a lift out of here another deal then no no Yes! No. Pity. So, aside from the soul hoarding thing, what is the devil's beef with Dracula? He broke his agreement. But I am pleased. We are not! You have made progress. I look forward to what comes next. Eddie can stay Eddie for now. Not to worry. I'll see the rest of you very soon.
once rivals. Today, I fought beside partners. I guess you're right. It felt good working with you, Eddie. For the first time in forever, I didn't think the symbiote was preparing to devour one of my organs. Yeah, we really sent Dracula packing, huh? And it's a relief to have a fist thrown off my back. You're a free man! What's the plan now? Yeah. Free. Uh, Eddie? This is the part where you say, I'm gonna eat two pizzas and sleep for 11 hours. At least, that's what I'd do after a big battle. But knowing the old Parker luck, that's when I'd stumble into a battle with Doc Ock. Eddie, is everything all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. And I will be fine. Completely free of Lilith's control. It almost doesn't feel real. Do you want one of us to pinch you? Joking! Collapsing entire buildings seems to be a running theme with you. A joke. I am not bitter. Not much. Dracula? I hope you gave him my regards. That is what I call blades sharp as silver steak. <laughs> I, I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. If you're wondering, that does not apply to Dracula. Does Dracula still smell like a sweat-soaked rat corpse showered in perfume? I mean, that's how Storm described him. I almost gave Eddie a hug, but I didn't want to annoy the symbiote. It's kind of like seeing your ex dating someone you've known for years. It would almost be worth getting mixed up with Mephisto again just to relive that moment. Anyone who has a thing for vampires hasn't actually met one. This is our special bonding ritual. Yeah, Dracula's fast. But I'd like to see him outrun the hell ride. If the three of you hadn't destroyed those Hemalisks, the entire burrow could have been lost by sunrise. I read all the Dracula novels I could find as a child. Wait. Were those history books? Don't worry. Dracula will get his eventually. And I'm gonna give it to him. I've cracked a few eggs in my day, but nothing like that. Nah. I feel a hunger coming on, and not the usual kind. Getting the urge to do some real journalism. Eddie. What is wrong? You've been so busy. I haven't processed what I did under Lilith's control. Guess my sins are still catching up to me. What can I do to make things easier? That's just it. No one can. I've killed before. I can't pretend I'm above that, but... But I try to only take a life if it means I'm saving another. And Lilith threw all that out the window. You see your victims' faces when you sleep? The worst of the faces I don't remember. I get... flashes of memories, like corrupted videos on repeat. I see parts of what happened, but... the details are lost. My mother did not send you to care for orphans. Consider your lack of memory a gift. A gift? Huh. Maybe you're right. Problem is, I'm never gonna know. Anyway, thanks for checking in. And hey, don't worry too much about me. I'm gonna stick around and do what needs doing. I know you will. I may have lost a step, but I promise you this. Lilith will regret she ever got into our heads. New York used to be a lot nicer. No, wait, I'm thinking of Billy. 
Every encounter with the new breed vampires raises more questions than it answers. What do Sin and Dracula get out of their unholy alliance? Why would Sin's Hydra troops help Dracula's cause? And what is their endgame? I have a theory. Go for it. Whatever Sin and Dracula are planning, they are not alone in their schemes. And we'll soon encounter the one who is actually pulling the strings. It could be a sorcerer, a witch, or maybe a demon. Perhaps one who matches or surpasses Lilith's power. I can do without a mystery villain. The roster of enemies is already stacking up. Whatever the actual reason, the outcome is always expand the power of new breed vampires. Let's focus on what we know. Putting aside that you came face to face with actual Dracula, I did the math on how many potential vampires you destroyed in that Hemalisk hive. That place could have generated half the city's police force per week. New York would turn into a feeding ground. As Robbie would say, we crashed it. <laughs> he might say something slightly different, but yeah. Aside from dealing with the devil, I'd say we came out ahead. I support Peter's choice. Somehow, we beat the devil. I doubt it happens often. Still, I have this feeling in the pit of my stomach. Doesn't feel like a clean win, you know? Yes, I know. Anything else on your mind? What do we know about the Lord of Vampires? Honestly, if Blade didn't vouch for it, I wouldn't believe he existed. He certainly does. There's so much information about Dracula that it's hard to know what's fact and fiction. I wonder if he had a hand in that. Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. Did you see Dracula take off in a cloud of bats? And people say, I'm Patty. <laughs> ah, you gotta be kidding me. We couldn't get a rewrite on this line. I want to ask you something, but you can't make fun of me, okay? Fire away, Robbie. Well, there is this online video game tournament, and I was kind of wondering, will you be my player too? Is Peter not the obvious choice? Does he not get automatically drafted? You know, though we've gotten pretty close, it doesn't feel right to not at least offer you the spot. Besides, there will be plenty of other tournaments for me and Peter to dominate. So, what did I do to deserve this honor, Robbie? I could ask you the same question. What did I do to deserve all your confidence in me? I rarely meet someone as true and honest to himself as you, Robbie. Which explains how you can master the spirit of vengeance without letting it control you. Calling someone like that back home can get you a nice beating. But I'll take it as a compliment. I sometimes wonder if you'd still think that way if it wasn't for Sparky. Don't get me wrong. We're a solid duo. There's no doubt about it. But on my own, would I be that great? I'm not so sure. Yes, Robbie. You cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And you were no sow's ear. I wasn't trying to. I don't think I was. 
I have known you long enough to know you were the real hero, without Sparky. You cannot fake that. Okay, okay, fine. You've made your point. Repeat it until every last bit of doubt is erased from your mind. Starting now. I am the hero. Perfect. Successful collaboration. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? This is some of my best work. How may the sorcerer supreme? An artifact this powerful is a truly rare find. The mystic arts. Day hunter. Not everyone wants my peace. I don't say this lightly, but nice work out there, Eddie. I hope you'll feel welcome amongst the midnight suns. Thanks, Hunter. Hey, hey, Hunter. Thanks, Hunter. I don't scare that easily. 